man up, Chris Bird, undefeated heavyweight, and he is waiting for his moment against Ross Purity, working his way up the ladder in the heavyweight division on USA's Tuesday Night Fights. The King of Beers presents USA's Tuesday Night Fights. A 10 round heavyweight bout between the elusive, undefeated, world ranked Chris Bird and big banging Ross Purity. I want to fight all the best heavyweights in the world. I, I, and I feel I'm the most feared heavyweight in the division. I know that for sure because so many people turn me down. Chris Bird may be too good for his own good. With his sleight of hand delivering 25 straight wins, he scares away heavyweight contenders with a masterful boxing skills of the Olympic middleweight silver medalist in a blown up 213 pound heavyweight body. He does what he has to to win. Slips, moves, flurries, frustrates, anything but stand in and trade punches. Oh, I can't. It's just too big. You know, and I got to use my, all my skills to elude the, the type of punches they're throwing. So, and it works to my advantage fighting big guys that are missing. And, you know, I, I don't run from these guys. I just try to get out the way of their punches. I look at Bird as a super middleweight. He's got the skills and the speed of a super middleweight fighting the heavyweights. Um, but you, no matter how elusive you are, I mean, sooner or later you got to run into a wall or run, I mean, you can't get away with that kind of fighting, that kind of style forever. At six foot three, 247 pounds, Purity thinks he is that wall. He has displayed that power in explosive fashion before, duly noted by the strategizing bird. I'm elusive and, and can get around him, but at the same time, you know, one punch by a big guy like he is can turn the whole fight around through 10 rounds. You know, I've seen him hit guys like Joe Hill in the 10th round and take him out when he was losing. So I know I have to be on top of my game through the whole 10 and not get lazy. And that'll get me really pumped up to throw more punches and be more elusive through 10 and be more exciting. But most of the onus will be on purity in trying to cage the high-flying, unflappable bird. Everybody else usually follows him. They don't press him. He moves, he spins around, he makes him look bad. You know, I don't plan to, to follow him and, and, and be another showcase for him. I honestly believe that I can, can force the issue and make him have to fight. I really do. You know, I, I, I think he'll have no choice but to fight. Well, they all say that. Yeah. Uh, what does purity bring to the table that may be different but Chris Bird. Oh, we've heard that before, haven't we, Al? Ross Purity says, you know, I have faced so many big fighters, the name fighters. His last fight was with Larry Donald, fight before that against Corey Sanders. He faces these kind of fighters because he's on an express to the top 10 in the heavyweight division. He says, hey, one of these times when I face one of these top fighters, they're going to be overlooking me. And he's hoping to get that tonight from Chris Bird. But he does promise to put the pressure on. Chris Bird may be the most talented person in, the, in this heavyweight division and the most feared fighter as a heavyweight. Not the kind of fear that Mike Tyson, a young Mike Tyson, put into his opponents, but a fear that people won't fight him because that he might make them look bad. Very frustrating to the heavyweights out there. Chris Bird, and he's having uh, difficulty now finding matches against top 10 big name fighters. Well, he's got Ross Purity in front of him who's trying to crack the rankings. And Ross Purity has the size. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, and you'll see the difference in these two fighters. Chris Bird actually up to 213 pounds, giving away 34 pounds to Ross Purity. And the adage uh, believed by Chris Bird, the bigger they are, the Harder bigger they are. are. And that's a look at the tail of the tape. Uh, Purity also with that big reach advantage. This is a 10-round fight. The rules here in Mississippi. Standing eight count is in effect. Three knockdown rule is in effect, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round. 
And now let's go to the blackboard and here's the champ. The boxing blackboard is brought to you by Meineke Discount Muffler. Chris Bird's strengths, he is so good in the ring, quick and elusive with solid combinations. His weaknesses, open glove hitting, he lacks punching power. And small for a heavyweight, he lacks physical strength. That could be a detriment in a long draining fight for which Ross Purity is hoping his strength, powerful puncher in the ring. He is awkward and clever with good athletic instincts. His weaknesses, with his slow lethargic style, he just has the attitude of being a tough opponent. And that could make for a full 10 round fight tonight. From Casino Magic here in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, this is USA Network's co-feature of the evening. This is being promoted by Banner Promotions and Main Events Fight Night in association with Budweiser, the king of beers. Our matchmaker is Les Bonanno. Is approved by the Mississippi State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Billy Lyons Chairman, Sal Taranto Deputy Commissioner. Our judges this evening, C.D. Jenkins, Paul Sita, and Keith Hughes. Our referee for the scheduled 10-round heavyweight bout, referee Fred Steinwinder III. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First in the red corner, wearing the green trunks with the black trim. He tipped in at an even 247 pounds. Now this veteran has 22 wins, 12 losses, one draw with 20 big knockouts. From Noble, Oklahoma, ladies and gentlemen, here is Ross, the boss, Purity. Purity. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the silver trim. He weighed in at an even 213 pounds. Now this young man is undefeated in 25 pro bouts with 14 big knockouts. He is currently ranked number nine by the IBF. All the way from Flint, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, here is Chris Bird. Bird. Come on, Chris. Chris. Look, you both received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to listen to my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, come out fight. Chris Bird sometimes makes it look so easy that the one thing he has to keep in mind going into this fight after 25 consecutive victories that there are times he has opportunities to pick it up and to really win the fans over a la Roy Jones with the flying leather and he he says that's something he's going to pay attention to more in this fight when he has that window of opportunity but as you heard him and as you see in this fight he's giving away 34 pounds every time he's in the ring he's up against a, a bigger fighter and he's uh, faced you know guys who have uh, been in contentions Phil Jackson's uh, Lionel Butler's. Bert Cooper, James Thunder, that he understands he can't stand in and trade. He's 210, 213 pounds. He is a heavyweight. He can't get down to a lower weight. And he has to do what he does best in this weight class to win fights. And he knows he just can't stand in there and take the shots of a of a guy like Ross Purity at 247 pounds. Purity could punch. And he loves fighting bigger foes. Chris Bird says they beat themselves. He says smaller foes are too elusive like me that's why he likes to keep his weight around the 210 mark you know over the history of time the, the, the best heavyweights seem to have been around 210 well, 210 215 somewhere around there Ali won the championship at 212 it seems to be a perfect weight for many of these heavyweights Larry Holmes 208 pounds but now unlike other heavyweights Chris says the exposure he has gotten from fighting here on the Tuesday night fights and some other networks. He says the exposure has really hurt his career. Now as other heavyweights see him, they stay away from him. They avoid Chris Bird. And I can tell you from, from looking at him and seeing him in his career, if I were a heavyweight, Chris Bird would be the last on my list. Definite catch 22 for Chris Bird. He certainly looks bigger than 213 pounds. But, you know, here is the moment for Ross Purity. Chris Bird is standing in front of him. 
And Purity just right now is tentative because he is concerned at what Chris Bird is going to throw at him in a flurry. And Ross Purity hasn't even thrown a punch. And we've been two minutes into this fight. Yeah, and this is Ross who is nicknamed the boss and said he was going to attack Chris Bird. That he was going to dictate yeah. the movement. It is Bird who is moving forward, if that's possible for Chris Bird. <laughs> But one thing that Chris Burton, he, he cannot allow for his fights to become banal. He does have to pick it up like you speak of. Even his father, the one, the one thing that Joe Bird, former Olympic coach in uh, Chris's corner, keeps on uh, Chris's back about is, is this posing. He says, don't pose. That's where you get caught. You got to stay busy. And and uh, Chris right now, though, you got to give him the first round, just trying to feel that Ross uh, purity and see what's in front of him. Not much accomplished so far in the first three minutes. A lot of posing. Stop. That's where Chris Bird is flying right now or at least trying to take off and uh, he heard what he hears. Wherever he goes when he stands in there and he's trying to get a little too cute and becomes a poser as the bell sounds the fighters go to their corners uh, hearing the smattering of booze from the crowd who want to see some more action. Well if you're a fan of the sweet science you love Chris Bird if you're uh, into slam bam boxing rock em, sock em robots in the heavyweight division maybe you're not but Chris Bird has to pick it up. This has been a, a chess match so far taken to a, a degree that you don't want to see boxing take a chess match. Now Chris Bird with a lightning fist and you know just like Purcell Miller in the first fight against Carl Daniels he was so confident going in he knew he was against the world champ but he was confident in his punching power and his conditioning but really never got in the ring face to face with the world champion. Now Ross Purity felt very confident that he would be the guy who will actually become the the one who cracks through against Chris Bird but now he's standing in front of him. Yes. OK and, and you could see the tentativeness and look, in Purity. Look, yeah look at how he's, how he's flinching just from these shots these little bitty pitter pat shots bird like punches from Chris. You know Chris even looks like a bird in the ring the way he moves that like you would think a bird would fight. Well he wriggles his head around like a bird might do. He, picks and pecks with his punches. You know, no hard shots yet. If he were a bird actually he'd be more like a woodpecker just pecking and pecking away where many fans would like to see him be more of an eagle or a hawk or a falcon. But it is bird he just he's just playing with his, his opposition. This forces his opponent off balance puts them in that defensive shell. That's exactly where purity is already. He hasn't taken one constructive punch and then eventually wears him down. Purity, dangerous, but uh, has been inconsistent. He's had the big wins against Jorge Gonzalez and Joe Hip, Tommy Morrison. He had moved around the top 10 at number 11 after the knockouts of both Gonzalez and Hip. But every time he stepped up against uh, other names like Hasim Rockman, Michael Grant, Corey Sanders, Larry Donald, four fighters uh, who are contenders uh, who could also box, he's always been defeated in one sided decisions. And now he's in against uh, one of the premier boxers in this, in this division. Yeah, and the reason is because he thinks too much. If he would just get in there and fight, not worry about. What would happen or what's what it's going to look like get in there and fight. He says that Chris Bird is a super middleweight. I'm going to walk all over him. Well he's not walked all over him tonight. In fact he's giving way too much respect for the light punching Chris Bird. Until there. Referee Freddie Steinwinder, as you see, wearing the black ribbon, as the referees are tonight. And the officials here in tribute to a longtime referee in this area, Chester Cuomo, Como, who passed away last week at the age of 71. Dean of Boxing on the Mississippi Gulf Coast, involved in over 3,000 fights, an amateur boxing coach. 
Referee and judge. Mr. Como. Winchester loved the sport of boxing. He is certainly missed around these parts. He had his funeral, I believe it was yesterday. All these referees are learning under Chester. Who was uh, very proud to see what the boxing has become in his, here backyard, in his, his yeah. backyard. Yeah. Life uh, long resident of uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Yeah, this is part of the picking up that Chris Bird needs to do. He can't can't allow for this to just drag on. He's trying to pick it up. He was expecting for Purity to put the pressure on, but it is Purity who, is, who appears to be glove shy. There you go again. Well, trying to throw that right hand, but Bird is too fast. You got to throw it against somebody like Chris Bird. You got to go. You got to go with real fast punches. Forget the power. You're not going to hit him with big powerful shots, especially not in this first few rounds. Got to hit him with the punches. Get him used to being hit. Make him sit still and ask for those punches, and then you bring out the, the big power. What did Ross Purity say after losing the 12 rounder to Larry Donald in his last fight? He said, "I spent way too much time thinking, not enough time fighting." Well, he spent uh, nearly three rounds now trying to outthink Chris Bird. And you're not going to do that with Chris Bird. He says in the ring, I'm thinking more. I use my experience, not only his experience as a pro, but also his experience as an amateur. Right, right now, I mean, you can make a case of seeing three rounds of which neither fighter has won. Chris Bird looking to reach a comfort level to try to figure out purity but coming in said he's going to pick up the action try to be more exciting he knows that uh, he has been labeled as a, a fighter who comes in and pecks and pecks and this does not bring the fans to their feet yeah this certainly doesn't help his cause you know he is thinking that he is now overlooked as heavyweight he's 25 and 0 14 KOs they're not talking about Chris Bird Here's one of the reasons. Well, another reason is he's a southpaw. Another reason is he is very difficult to fight. But he's not helping his call, cause by making this fight boring. In the first three rounds, Ross Purity, the 31-year-old, living in Noble, Oklahoma, former defensive end at Texas El Paso, and Chris Bird. It was the lightning quickness. The flashiness, you would think. He has all the potential to bring that to the heavyweight division, a la what Roy Jones is doing in whatever division he's in. In boxing. But Chris Bird has to has to elevate that to that next level. Certainly has all the tools. Certainly interesting. And it's both offensively and defensively, he just does not have the big power punch against the big heavyweights. Uh, something that uh, he will tell you and uh, understands. So he does it with the skill and the master of a technician in the ring. A uniqueness. Purity now starting to open up a little more as we move into round number four. And he's trying to get a gauge of how he can punch through a, a Chris Bird. You see, his biggest shot was a swing and a miss with the right hand. And Bird, the Houdini of the heavyweights, now you see him, now you don't. He's standing right in front of you, and then he's gone after you unleash, and then gets in that quick left hand. Still amazes me. He is so hard to hit in the head. Chris Bird is and even Ross Purity yesterday saying how he was going to attack the body on Chris Bird. Nobody who has faced Chris Bird has gone downstairs. There's a downstairs shot from Chris Bird. So hard to hit Chris in the chin hit him solid. It'll take a good fighter to beat him. Well if this is a oh, there's a combination and a little wobble from Purity. Yeah. You know Bird not known as a one punch knockout king, but any heavyweight, 213 pounds of power. Hold on, hold it. Don't hold him. Let go of me, Ross. Let's go. If this is Purity's answer of pressing the issue, not quite sure exactly what he meant. Which issue? A 
very slow evolving fight one minute to go in the fourth against these left handers right handers are taught to throw a real straight right hand that should be their best punch right down the pike there's a nice right from Chris Bird and also come with a wide left hook there is purity he has Bird on the ropes that's where he wants him although Bird can get very comfortable working the ropes making his bigger opponent miss Likes laying on the ropes and fighting. He said, I train on a 10 by 10 ring. I can make anyone miss on the ropes. With Chris, it's almost a game. He almost likes to put himself in a dangerous position and see how he could slip out of it. And in training, he just works on slipping away from shots. To him, that's part of the challenge. And he just loved that moment. Well, Ross Purity tried to open it up in that fourth round. Here he is throwing hard punches, missing, missing, missing. But when you throw shots and miss, like he is doing there sometimes, it makes you stop throwing hard punches. Well, he's certainly uh, among the, uh, the, the barrage of punches. Uh, Scored more shots than he has his whole the whole fight. Yeah, he, he does have some good arsenal too. He throws good punches if he can just land some of those. You know, and it, sometimes against a fighter like Chris Bird, especially, you have to realize it's averages percentage of averages. You throw more punches, you're going to land more punches. How deceiving is Chris Bird? You know, we've talked to so many opponents going in to face him. Credible opponents. They'll say, you know, hey, he doesn't have the power to hurt me. I'll walk right through him. I'll catch him somewhere in those 10 rounds. You know, he fights like an amateur. He throws a lot of slapping punches, just going to keep the pressure on him. And then they get in the ring and find out how difficult that is. Oh, how different it is on the other side of the ropes. Oh. Mes mesmerized by Bird. Frustrating, angry, mad at yourself. And then you try to fight somebody else, too. <laughs> He has a Houdini-like fascination. He's an illusionist. And wants to fight anybody out there. Work your hands free. Work your hands free. Don't push Says he's been in contact with all the, the big names. Come on, work out of there. Let's go. Lennox Lewis, Galata, Grant, Hyde, Herbie Hyde, the WBO champion, Tua, Donald, Rockman, Mercer. And nobody wants to fight him. Those are the smart ones. You understand what it is to be in the ring with a Chris Bird. So uh, Chris Bird a little disillusioned about the fight game. Here he is at 27. He's won all 25 fights. And nowhere to go. Throw it if you're gonna put it out there. Let's go. I'm sure there are many of you who are watching in say, so, well, if he wants to go somewhere, he's got to pick it up. He's got to be even more exciting, more entertaining with those skills. Put your hands inside the hole. Now, come on, let's go. Bird very patient in the ring, doing what he has to do. Very much aware that he does not want to get hit by bigger guys. Those and body shots hurt. Downstairs he's going, and Ross Purdy is flinching. And Bird just in a mechanical dissection of opponents. And does it at his own pace. Missing. He, he takes more takes more energy out of you to swing and miss and to swing and hit and Ross just missed. Al Albert along with the champ Sean O'Grady ringside at Casino Magic as you can see. Packed. As usual, in this our 26th visit to Casino Magic in Bay St. Louis. 
Open the doors here with Larry Holmes and Everett Bigfoot Martin back in 1993 in January to open our Tuesday night fight season in 93. And we've been coming back the last six years in this fight number 26, and it's heavyweight Chris Bird versus Ross Purity. In our main event, moving into the second half of this fight. Chris Bird has kept Purity at bay. The backhand by uh, Purity and Freddie Steinwinder right on top of things. Purity, who was a football player in college at Texas El Paso, always loved to fight. And in his senior year, got in the gym, no amateur fights, stopped, stepped right in as a professional, was learning as he was going. And in his first 16 pro fights, won eight, lost eight. And then that uh, incredible evening against Tommy Morrison, in which he had Morrison down two times, an eight and eight. Ross Purity going up against 41 and two, Tommy Morrison. He's in a top 10 fighter. Come on, work your hands free. Let go of it. Work uh, your hands free. Come on. Work it out. That man. fight ended up somehow as a draw. But after that, Purity with the confidence and just understood now if he just really learned how to box, he might have a career out of this. Won nine in a row before stepping up and losing to Hasim Rockman and Michael Grant. Still learning. But as he stepped up, he went the distance with the contenders. Then he knocked out Jorge Gonzalez and Joe Hip and thought he might have something going here. Moving up to number 11 in the world before losing distance fights to Corey Sanders and South African Larry Donald in his last fight in April. So. And he really has a lot of good skills. He's, he's not a bad fighter. He looks slow tonight because he's in against Chris Bird. But uh, he's been fighting a long time. He, Turn throw back in November of 1989. He uh, is a student of the game. He loves the sport of boxing. Real amiable man outside the ring. But he has just been overwhelmed by the speed of Chris Bird. As you heard Ross Purity say before, quote, I honestly believe I can force the issue and make him have to fight. Don't leave, Ross. Let's go, punch. I think I'll have no choice but to fight. But right now, Purity not forcing the issue. And finding himself uh, falling into the path of all the other bird opponents. Right there on the uh, entrance and exit of a beautiful ring car girl here in Casino Magic. Seventh round of the scheduled 10 rounder. Chris Bird on the left, Ross Purity on the right. Purity 22 12 and 1 with 20 KOs in his 22 wins. Chris Bird unbeaten in 25 fights with 14 knockouts. His biggest wins coming up against heavy hitting Phil Jackson and Lionel Butler, the KG Jeff Wooden, Bert Cooper, Jimmy Thunder. Thunder and Butler fights were knockouts where he just wore down the bigger punchers. And now Bird looks to work inside. Purity now, he has to take advantage with. Bird up against the ropes. You know, Bird has lost very few rounds as a pro. The only time he had even been in trouble was in his fight with Arthur Williams. Hurt in the first round. He rallied back from that. But Arthur Williams, former cruiserweight world title challenger, and those are the kind of fighters that Chris Bird does not want to face. He doesn't want to face those small cruiserweights that can have a lot of speed. He wants to face the slow, lethargic, lumbering type heavyweights who hit hard. We almost start thinking, what, what would a Chris Bird, Roy Jones fight look like? Wow. Jones uh, looking to make his way into the heavyweight division. Work your hands free inside. Let's go. Two former middleweight Olympian greats. 
And this is what this bird is doing. Olympian, silver medalist as a middleweight, now fighting as a heavyweight. Chris Bird debuted as a pro as a super middleweight, then he moved up one weight division with each pro fight until he reached that uh, heavyweight in his fourth fight. It was 169 in his first fight, 72 in his second, 193 in his third, and then 200 in fight number four. And the heaviest he has ever weighed for a fight, 218 pounds. He's at 213 tonight, giving away 34 pounds to Purity. And here's Purity with a, an eight and a half inch reach advantage, but he's being out jabbed by Bird. And Bird just quicker with the hands oh, getting the in the shots, the even though Purity has that long reach advantage. Quicker with the hands and quicker with the movement. Look at how Bird spins on the, his ball. Wheels away. Yeah, in and out. And Through getting his shots in. Ended up strong. It is so confusing when you get peppered, peppered with a lot of shots like Chris Bird can throw. They're not hard. They don't stun you with one shot, but all the accumulation of punches. And then Chris just kind of looks at it. Gives him that Bird look. One thing Purity said before this fight, he says that he didn't think that this was going to be a fight where Bird can walk around and smile the whole fight. Well, Chris now starting to work a smile. He is just playing with Purity through the first eight rounds, doing his thing, dictating the fight. Something Purity said Bird would not do against him, that Purity would dictate this fight. But uh, Purity, we're seeing more of uh, what we see from Purity when he has faced the Donalds and the Sanders and the Grants and the Rockman. Just too much respect, being outboxed, not letting go. Yeah, he really began this fight going backward. And he's, he has to take charge. He's down to three rounds, two and a half rounds. He has some power, good power. And he's got to let it go. Come on, work your hand. Let go of his hand. Let go of his hand. Ross can tell on, work. Work me work. later, that's easier said than done. Now that he's been in the ring with Bird. Work your hands. The 92 Olympics. Punch. Get off of him, Ross. Work. Let's go. Punch. Two top USA punch. medals. Oscar De La Hoya won the gold. Chris Bird won the silver. And he lost right. the uh, finals, controversial scoring fashion, the Cuban fighter. Last time you saw Tracy Bird, Chris's uh, sister, in a world championship fight. Chris joining us at ringside actually had to leave a little later in the fight. He just could not sit still watching his sister, who actually lost her title in a uh, courageous effort. And her first loss in her pro career, very good looking professional career, Tracy Bird. Yeah, she'll bounce back though. Chris Bird went 290 and 25 as an amateur. Work your hands free, let go of him. There you go. Back in January of 1993. He has a lot of experience.
welcome back to Tuesday Night Fights. Al and the champ were at ringside as we take a look at Chris Bird and Ross Purity as this fight moves on. The scheduled 10 rounder into round number nine. And so far in control, Chris Bird looking for his 26th straight win. And only two rounds to go for Ross Purity to turn it up and try to punch through. And there's the speed of Chris Bird lightning. Oh yeah, and look at these, these slapping shots from Chris Bird. You know he hits with his hand open, and he slaps with a punch. If, if you're facing somebody like that, you don't like it when they do that to you. But you got to give it back. You got to open your hands and slap with your punches. Take some of that power off of your punch and increase your speed. Some of the tape coming loose now from the right glove of Bird. Closely knit Bird family. Five of the boys box, as does Tracy. A world champion in the women's ranks. We saw her a couple of weeks ago with Chris in that position, unable to sit and watch Tracy. Now it is Tracy kind of bobbing and weaving herself, watching her yeah. brother in action here in round number nine. Great to see fighters when they're watching other fighters box because they move like they're, you know, ducking punches and they're moving around like the fighters are. Mark your hands free. Like they're in there. Step back, step back. Mom and dad in the corner of Chris Bird, Joe and Rose. Work your hands really a inside. fine family. Look at this movement, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> and a standing ovation after that flurry. Standing O. Chris Bird brings such a uniqueness, that playfulness. I think uh, he would have legions of fans if he could just turn it up on a higher level for a longer time over the course of the fight. Make it a performance. Right. You know, there's a few rounds that, that have been interesting here, but he, he should be making every round interesting. Take it out of the book of Roy Jones, yeah. out of Muhammad Ali. Bringing those great skills to their divisions. Yeah, it's up to him. It's up to Chris Bird. Especially at this level. And boxing is a, a sport where you make the change. They're telling Purity to let him go, and I couldn't agree with him more. Purity's not one around. Get off of him, Ross. Closing seconds of round number nine. Bird looking to turn it up as the clock ticks down. Last round, get a little tape on it, honey. I'll cut it off. Here's Moshe. This is Moshe. Okay, Chris. Now let's let's work just the last, last round. round, Chris. Last round, I think. Get your cup. And then get your cup. And he's gonna come out of there. He tired. He gonna be too much. Yeah, he's gonna come out. Yeah. He's gonna run. He's gonna try to go to hard discipline now. How right, you feel? He's gonna hit you right here, Wendy. Nine down, one to go in this 10 round heavyweight bout. Chris Bird doing uh, all that uh, he is out to do. Ross Purity saying he was going to press, and uh, we're still waiting to see that. Taken out of his game by Chris Bird, as has happened to many a big heavyweight. Bird just feeling good, still in the playful mood. All right, let's go work your hands free, get your head off. And now, Purity going to the body. Bird giving it to him. And just frustrating him more. Oh, cracking upstairs, though. let's go, work. Punch your hands in there. Chris Bird has been down. Actually, that was in the Arthur Williams fight against the Cruiserweight. One minute gone in this final round. 
This bird is ranked number nine by the IBF, number five by the WBO. Work your hands free inside. Come on, work. But work, uh, the work. other organizations. Punch out of there. Let's go. Not taken by Chris Bird. Not ranked by the WBA, and number 17 by the WBC. Work your hands free. Not Come overwhelmed with his Let's skills in this division. No knockdowns in this fight. Halfway through the 10th round. And a very quiet crowd. This bird has to get this crowd out of their seats. Yeah, he wants to be on the forefront of the boxing mind, in the world's mind. He wants to do something to make people remember him. Terrific talent. You can see him displaying his skills here. Lost purity as, as Bird knew, terrific opponent for him, but he's got to get it to that, to the higher level. He's got to score with his terrific super combinations. He's got to be alive for 10 rounds. Chris Bird had been hampered a bit, stepped up a bit in this heavyweight class, but. Uh, Great expectations. Now he's coming back a little bit in a fight with Ross Purity, and he may be a little bit let down himself. But he offers a terrific contrast in the division. He is unlike any other fighter in the division, unlike any other fighter in boxing. Can make for some very interesting matchup with the top contenders. But why would they want to fight him? And a big finish for Chris Bird. Oh, oh. Ross Purity. You see it on, even on his hardly face. a punch. You even see it on Chris Bird's face. He, and we Bird, Bird's disappointed too. As we await the decision, let's take a look at tonight's Power Punch brought to you by Budweiser, fresh, pure, natural, proud to be your bud. And we go back to the first fight in the flurry by former world champ Carl Daniels, who won a unanimous decision from hard punching Purcell Miller. And Daniels with that quickness, knocking Miller off balance and providing us with that flurry that goes down as tonight's Budweiser Power Punch. Chris Bird ready to hear exactly what scores have led him to his 26th consecutive victory as a heavyweight. Tabulations uh, being made. Ross Purity, who gets another shot at a top 10 contender. You know, he's fighting all these top 10 guys. Chris Bird would love to get the fights yeah. Purity has, uh, has gotten. Well, we're ready for the decision. Here's Ed Darian in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Grand Casino here in Bay, St. Louis, Mississippi. I've got the scoring, and here it is. Judges C.D. Jenkins and Paul Sita each score 99-91, while Judge Keith Hughes, he scored it 190. All for the winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, Chris Bird. Chris Bird. Nearly pitching the shutout with 190 and 99 91 on two of the cards and Chris Bird goes to 26 and 0 all over Ross Purity in tonight's main event. And that wraps